today I thought I would share a few strength training and conditioning exercises you can do on the pole. These are going to be done on static and spin. You could probably modify them to be only on static if you only have a static pole. The following exercises are targeted a little bit more towards intermediate and advanced level pole dancers, but if you're a beginner, go ahead and give these a shot um, and see how far you can get. So the first exercise I started with was kind of this invert helicopter movement. This one exhausts me pretty quickly, so I can only do about five on each side. You can see that I'm kind of approaching an invert almost, but I'm not completing it by tipping back. So I'll do five of these on each side, and typically I'll give myself maybe a minute to a minute and a half break between each set of these five. The important thing on these is just to keep it engaged back. Your core is also going to be working like crazy here. Um, and also be careful not to micro bend in the knees. You can see I'm doing that here. Again, these really <laughs> tire you out pretty quickly. But you try your best to keep those legs straight as possible. And if you find you're sinking a lot in the arms, that's okay. Just try your best to engage and keep your head as close as possible to your hands, even though that can be quite a struggle on the last few reps. So I did about five reps on each side with a minute to a minute and a half break, and then I just repeated this three times. Up next, I grabbed a resistance band. Here, I'm just trying to train my Iron X. So a lot of tricep, shoulder work here, so mostly just holding that Iron X position. So I just wrapped that resistance band around my outside leg. I deadlifted up and then I would just open up into my Iron X. And I just hold this position for as long as I can, comfortably and with good form. So with these, I did about three holds on each side. And again, I'm not timing my hold. I'm just holding it for as long as I see and feel that I have proper form. And if you're not quite at the point where you can deadlift into this, um, it's totally fine to jump into your Aisha or handspring, however you feel comfortable getting into it. And then just try to try to hold your legs out as low as you can. You don't have to bring them as low as I was in this video. Bringing them up a little bit higher towards the pole is going to make this exercise way easier. So next I went into some shoulder mount training. I didn't extend my knees. Uh, my core was already feeling this quite a bit. My arms were a little bit dead at this point already. Here again, I'm doing about five. And you can see on the last one, I actually fell down the pole. I was very sweaty. You're gonna find that you need to wipe down the pole quite a bit on these exercises if you're putting in 100% here. If you would like to extend through the knees, totally great way to upgrade this exercise. I think uh, just this on its own, it can be quite challenging. So here I am just pulling the pole down through the triceps and tucking in through the core. You can see a little bit of cheating there. I'm kind of throwing my legs up a little bit more than I should be. So again, if you want to be a little bit more uh, strict than I am, use total control through the muscles to lift up your legs and tuck them. So next I went into these push-up tucks, backing into the pole. You could also do this on the wall. I am just coming down as comfortably as I can. I don't want to go too low because I don't want to have my head crash onto the floor and not be able to get back up. So just repositioning yourself and make sure that you can complete your rep without failure. And right afterwards I went on to spin and I was holding this spin for as long as I could, really engaging my top shoulder here, trying to put a majority of the weight in that inside arm and trying my best not to rely on the outside, keeping my body in the air. And then after about a minute and a half, I went right back into those piked push-ups, again going until failure. And once again, I just went straight into those spinning holds, supersetting that, so no break in between, 
just going back to back um, and then a break between supersets. And I did about three sets of these, I believe. Again, just going till failure on both of them. And lastly, if you've got any arm strength left, you would go on to your spin pole and try your best to climb up that with only your hands. You can kind of see that I'm pumping up through the legs again, cheating. But if you're pretty exhausted, you might have to do that to have somewhat of a climb to be possible here. So I went for uh, another three sets on these guys to finish off this workout. It took me about 30 minutes. If you really push yourself, you definitely will have some noodle arms. You will be probably pretty sore the next day. All these exercises are really great for conditioning various movements on the pole, so highly recommend.